Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel and it is finally time to get started on the Camaro. We were actually over here last night working on a few little things, getting this thing ready to fully tear it apart, blow it apart and do a whole bunch of upgrades. We'll talk about those here in a little bit. First we need to get Clyde pulled out. It ended up snowing the other day, so we're actually gonna go do some donuts and cold sack to kick this thing off. Fire up now. Oh, yep, perfect. Actually, Sean brought his new FPV drone out. He's gonna go chase me around up in the cult sack, see if we can make some cool content. What do you think? I think it'd be pretty cool. Yeah, see what this thing can do. <laughs> yeah, it looks a little goofy, but it's fun. <laughs> see if this thing will even it doesn't even like want to really fish tail and then uh so it's always been hard with this car and trying to do like donuts or burnouts is because the e-tran need to like auto shift so it's always a kind of a pain to get it to do what i want it to do i don't know we'll give it a few loops and see what it'll do <laughs> unit that thing is so much fun <laughs> from street driving to uh you know doing burnouts in the snow or donuts whatever you want to call it how was the uh headset there carter it was a little different that's the first time i've actually done anything besides just fly up and down the street with the headset on and gets, the motion gets you a little bit that's for sure when i'm doing circles you're doing circles yeah, I'm, I'm over here on the tailgate moving my head around like i'm looking through the drone and it, i don't need all right, so maybe now we can get some stuff done on this rig. I'm so freaking excited to be back on the Camaro, getting back on this thing. It was a little over a year ago that we pulled the engine out, but in that time I've been planning and doing a lot of things, saving up some money and getting uh, just everything in line, be able to take this thing into a crazy different level. So the plan is to go full six bolt, probably twins, maybe a big single, but most likely twins, change up everything, possibly add to the cage, take a ton of weight out of this thing, so we're going to ditch like the heater box, we're gonna ditch the power brakes, get rid of all the ABS crap. We're already in here, like I said, taking out some of the wiring. The entire wiring harness in the car is getting taken out. We're gonna rewire the entire car. Um, I think center console's coming out. We're ditching the factory radio, cause that's still there. We also have still the factory column in the car. All the factory body harness is still in here. So just a lot of things to do with this car to just, you know, take it to that next level i probably need to get a possibly a turbo 400 for it maybe stay with glide i'm not 100 percent sure still looking at that stuff still talking to people about an engine combo and exactly what we're going to do but it's going to be a pretty crazy build and we're getting started right now i think we're going to start in the front of the car and just start ditching everything out of here and then hopefully by the end of the day we can have this car pretty much gutted so then we can start moving on to you know the upgrades so the first thing that i did get delivered which we're kind of, that's why we're gonna start ditching everything up here, is I got a rock solid tube front end kit for this thing. So we're gonna tube the whole front end, should save us about 50 pounds. So we're kind of in the process of doing all that right now. Well, one fender down, there's the old exhaust. Had to smash it, that's kind of my idea. I had all this, but it would still come up and rub right here. But this was for doing the streetcar deal where it said exhaust past the firewall. So I built this so it was just past the firewall. You gotta find all those gray areas within the rules. To give you an idea of why I'm redoing so much things with wiring too. Uh, yeah, cause I had stuff just kind of grounded and not the proudest thing, but this car was my first build. So I had no idea what I was doing with wiring. Clyde got a little bit better. I think Bernie got a little bit better. And this car, I actually got some parts coming that's gonna make this thing really nice. It's like a uh, race pack smart wire deal through like Holly. And it's all solid state relay. It keeps it all super simple. Everything's built in, all the relays. So you don't have just random relays throughout the car and all this crap. So I'm pretty excited about that. So all this stuff's getting gutted. All the wires up under here is gonna go away. Yeah, we got a lot that's just 
it's going away. So Alex is working on taking the pillars off and we can get to the dash, get all the dash out. Sad days, no more heater or radio. Oh, that thing broke, about done, that 1998 plastic. So, but that'll save us a few pounds there. When I used to run the car, it weighed right at like 3,600 pounds. I think last time I was across the scale, it was 3,590 with me in it. I'm really, really hoping to be under 3,300 pounds. So 32 something with me in it would be, would be awesome. I don't know if we'll get there. I don't know, that's a lot to take out of a car like this. So, uh, but we're gonna do everything we can. That's why I'm ditching all the amenities, all the extra crap that I don't need. We're trying to thin everything out the best we can possible. But also this car runs a lot of True Street stuff. So I gotta keep all the factory glass in it and everything else. So, you know, there's only so far I can take the car without like putting myself into a different class as well. So since I pretty much built the car before I started making YouTube videos, I'll show you guys a little bit of the setup though. I had the Holly HP, originally I had it mounted down there on the uh, kick panel, but then I put the cage in so that blocked it. So I mounted it to the underside of the uh, glove box. You release this, it drops down. Then this is the boost control solenoids. And then this was the alcohol controller. So I sprayed methanol in the intake tube. So everything was kind of controlled right here. And then all I had was two little uh, arming switches for the boost control solenoid. And that was about it. So super simple setup. If anybody else has taken the F body dash out, you know how fun this is. Got all the mounts up behind. And see, I still had all this, but I did cap this off for the uh, ventilation deal because of the cage that was in it. But otherwise, we're getting getting dang close. I think it's about ready to come out. This gives you an idea of the mess behind an F-body dash. So all this wiring will be gone. Some of this wiring is the uh, Holly ECU, but it only goes from there out to the engine bay. So once all that's gone, then we're going to also ditch the heater and all that stuff out of here. So then we're just left with a bare dash and then all the wiring. All this stuff is leaving. So we're working on pulling all of that right now. Okay. Having fun, buddy? Yep. Here's the 13 oh, for Alex that business. side. Where would you pull it off the front? Yeah, that's the only bolt holding that lower subframe on. Nice. And then we got to disconnect all the wiring from this subframe. That's also my ground point. What a freaking disaster. I can remember running the holly wiring up under the dash there through the firewall. That was, that was a good time. Well, the main harness is out. That's a good, probably 25 or 30 pounds. Yeah. So it won't be needing that. All right, let's see if this thing will come out of there. Big old heavy pain in the ass thing. I'm hoping it clears the roll cage, which it should. It should it pop in and then hopefully move over if we have to. Now we're up against the cage. Yeah, we're not gonna be able to rotate it anymore. We'd have to go in about five inches. In about five inches. Yeah. Mm, yes. So we might have to be disassembling this. Yeah. Car, pulling the heater core out and separate all that other thing. Or we dig a saws on. Eh. Well, when in doubt, just tear it apart, I guess. Yep. Just break it. Just break it. So uh, we're getting ever so slightly closer to it, I guess. This is how you remove a heater core, right? Side. Really. It might be best. Swing it around here. We're definitely gonna have to weigh this sucker and see where we're at. Well, I'm gonna have to see what. You got a whole lot of wiring that'll probably be coming with this thing too. Oh yeah. Holy crap. Yeah, we really don't have room on this side neither. Yeah. Well, everything in the car is practically out of the car now. To the main harness. The main harness that goes to the back. Yep. Rick. <laughs> Holy crap. Well, I'm gonna have to lay this right here for now. Yep. And then we'll get rid of that here soon. One thing we are trying to do is keep the wiring for the doors so I know how to wire those back in so we can keep power windows, not so worried about locks. And then also things like this 
I went ahead and kept the brake switch and the little harness with the pigtail on it. So then I can rewire in the, uh, reuse that brake switch. I could always get like a pressure, pressure switch, but if we can use that brake switch and everything and the wire back in, it'll be real nice. I'm planning on uh, hanging the new wiring harness somewhere up in here under the dash. So build little brackets or something, come down maybe off of the uh, crossbar when I under the roll bar. So uh, if you know what that means, then you probably understand where this is going with the uh, roll cage too. So, uh, all right, we're gonna try to get the brake booster out of here. And, and big heavy ABS and brake booster, maybe. Yes. There's a few pounds there too. Yeah. We're dropping all the weight on this unit. So yeah, everything's gonna go back like a manual brake master cylinder and then no ABS, but it'll have like a little proportion valve, but everything's gonna get so much lighter with this build. Uh, just simplified, easy, easier to work around and it'll just clear up a bunch of room. Now you can get to the back bolts on the header and the head and everything there. Once we're gonna cut all this out, I'm gonna cut all and ditch the uh, windshield wipers and all that. So drop weight, remove all that stuff, but also make it easier to work because now you'll be able to get to like the back of the intake and everything. So if we ever have to pull heads off, I have actually pulled the head off in the car with everything in it and head studs, which was pretty crazy on this side. But uh, we're making some pretty dang good progress. We gotta cut some wires, get this harness out. Like we just got a mess of things coming off of the car and uh, I need more room, but hey, we're gonna make this work. All the carpet's coming out. I think we might just do maybe carpet from the driver up and then use some lightweight carpet. This stuff's nice because it's kind of formed or I'll find some other uh, factory stuff, but hopefully it's a little lighter. This rubber coated stuff is super heavy. Got there, buddy. Oh, she. Oh, my half's that far. Dang. See how you did me? Yep. So that stuff is super heavy, but hopefully we can get rid of that. I had the uh, whole hidden hidden trap door thing, a little piece of carbon covering it, but I think I'm gonna ditch the factory fuel tank and uh, Rock Solid makes a really cool one that sits in the back of the car here. And I think that's what I'm gonna do is put that here. Uh, I just got a few other things I gotta figure out before I order that tank, so yeah, buddy. And if you didn't know, the little plastic trays in the back of the Camaro or to hold the T-tops. So a lot of people didn't know that. Hell, I didn't even know that when I first got the car, but hey, now I know that. That's what you get for being born in the late 80s. Nice. <laughs> Interesting find. Looks like uh, the body's been getting beat up by the torque arm bolt or mount or whatever right there on the rear end. So I know that they sell a kit as you lower the cars that you widen this and make it a little bit bigger. Uh, the car used to have rear seats in it. Not gonna worry about that anymore, but uh, so I'm probably going to open this all up so then I can set the car lower and then the uh, torque arm will have more room so everything will get lowered in the car. And at least that sounds like a good plan. Yeah, we'll go with that for right now. Well, front to back, we're almost there. we got some more wires to pull out, which some of that goes to the battery. But otherwise, all this stuff, we'll pull some of that out. Uh, got the interior panels out other than the headliner. So come together. Just the beginning, buddy. It's always just beginning. <laughs> you never have an end to these cars. No doubt. Yeah, I thought it was done one day, and then I decided to pull it all back apart and redo it all. All right, everyone. Clyde's back in. Camaro's up top again. Uh, Till next time. But, hey, we got a heck of a good start on this thing, being our first day really back on it. I guess a little bit last night, just kind of prepping. But otherwise, if you guys want to keep watching, we're going to do a heck of a build. A lot of cool things coming. Got a lot of awesome stuff planned for this car, and we're going to be heavy on it. The parts are already starting to show up, so I'm just going to keep going on it as much as we have time to do it. So hit that subscribe button. Hit the like button. Leave us a comment. Tell us what you think, what you'd like to see us do with this thing, possibly. We'll see you in the next video.